up guys and make another update for you guys because uh, I got some messages asking me to show my chest again because Caleb's camera sucks sorry love you um, so here you go do a little close-up um, nipples are still pretty gnar gnar you can see that um, I think she did a good job pretty happy with the results um, try and flex. Ah, it hurts. Um, I've got kind of, my bruise is still down here, and it, it, the whole thing, the whole time it was bruised, it never hurt, but now I'm starting to get a little bit of pain right here, and right here, and I have no idea why. It's kind of weird. Um, I don't know if, like, this hurts just because I haven't been using ab muscles, and now that I can move without feeling much pain, i been doing a lot more things. Maybe I shouldn't be. I don't know. Um, so yeah, it's, it's uh, almost two full weeks. Tomorrow will be two full weeks, and I'm approaching one year on testosterone. Um, let's see what the date is. In 17 days. 17 days. It'll be one year on testosterone. I'm gonna buy real fast. Um, let's see. I'm watching Animal Planet. I love Animal Planet. Um, I'm trying to think. Still looking for a job. Um, I've made in my army video. I talked about how I wanted to do combat photography, and that I've always wanted to work for National Geographic, and I had. A lot of people send very mixed replies about that video, but I think the majority lean to, uh, you're really crazy. So, uh, I emailed National Geographic just kind of like on a whim. Oh. And, uh, almost lost you guys. And, uh, they, they actually sent me a message back. I have a feeling they get that email a lot and they have a, a preset email about how people actually get into um, National Geographic. So they gave me a lot of helpful stuff, helpful info, and told me um, the thing they look at most is someone who obviously wants to do photography as their career and not just a hobby, which, um, yeah, definitely want it to be my career. and. Uh, Apparently they said they get a lot of people who who don't want to do the traveling that goes along with it, so you have to be someone that wants to, or likes to travel. Which I think is crazy, because the things I'm most interested in shooting are um, endangered species, so um, like African safaris, and um, I'm also really into volcanoes, and just like nature, life, like wildlife, so, um, I mean, that, that would take me everywhere, and I want to travel, and that's why I want to shoot for National Geographic, otherwise I'd just shoot for a local magazine or something, so I think that's kind of crazy, but they said the thing they look at most, besides good photography, is dedication to one particular topic, so, um, they said choose something that isn't already highly focused on, um, something that's rare for your area, and something that you could study, oh my god, Sorry. something that you could study for, um, okay, I don't think that's going to work, I'm going to move back over my computer. something that I would be interested in studying for five years. Constant five years focus on one particular topic. And also something that they highly stressed was um, uh, don't involve two people because that's 
not only you that they're looking at among millions of other people that want to work for National Geographic, but two. So you have to be able to be a decent rider and uh, be interested in riding, not only shooting, about your one particular thing. So, since I do plan on moving sometime in 2010, um, I'm just going to continue to work on building a, a portfolio for me personally and maybe using that to get a different photography job somewhere and then when I move I'll be able to experience my new area and figure out one particular thing I would really like to study and work very hard on that for five years, four to five years. Um, so yeah, and I, I do enjoy riding which I know definitely comes along with National Geographic and um, so I'm pretty excited about that. I really didn't expect to get an email because it wasn't like a, an email address for particular concerns. It was like the overall National Geographic email address. So that's pretty cool. And I heard back in like 24 hours. And uh, let's see, also still looking locally at a lot of different jobs. I'm going to a juvenile detention center tomorrow called uh, Swannanoa Valley Youth Center. It's one of five juvie centers in western North Carolina. So um, I think that one might be all boys. But I'm not sure, I don't remember. There's like a million steps that you have to go through to apply for this job, which is why I didn't do it before. But it's like, you have to fill out a state, North Carolina state employment application, send it into the state government, then you have to fill out the same application and send it to the individual um, person selected for that position. Then you have to do like all of the background checks and stuff like that, and you have to be cleared, and you have to have that clearance with your application, with both being sent off, and a whole bunch of other stuff, but yeah. And then I filled out a few applications for um, other group homes that are like anywhere from an hour and a half to three hours away, and they're all like on the two weeks on, two weeks off, or seven days on, seven days off, or like nine days on and six days off and uh, so that way it wouldn't be that big of a deal with driving because if you think about it it would be like driving to work five days a week if I had to drive you know three hours or whatever even less driving so that would be cool and, uh, yeah so still looking for a job really 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 need a job and other than that, I don't think I really had much else to say. Peace.